You know, back when I located features with plus minus tolerance dimensions, I would spend a tremendous amount of time trying to decide how to place the dimensions to minimize tolerance accumulation. Then others would review the drawing and argue that the dimensions should be placed differently. When basic dimensions are used, this issue goes away. Check out this tip. It is very important to realize that the placement of basic dimensions does not tell you the origin of measurement, nor does it control the relationship of features to each other. There's no tolerance on these basic dimensions, so it really doesn't matter how I place them on the drawing. As we look at these two drawings, this upper one has all of the dimensions coming from the axis of this hole, whereas on the lower drawing, all the dimensions are coming from these two edges, which is something often the shop might prefer. What's the difference between these drawings? Nothing. They have exactly the same meaning, because the origin of measurement is established by the datum features, and when I want a tighter relationship between features, like between these two tapped holes, I've used composite tolerancing to hitch them together and control the relationship tighter. So because A, B, and C have been referenced in all these feature control frames, your origin of measurement is where these three mutually perpendicular datum planes intersect. And as far as the relationship between those M10 millimeter tapped holes goes, even though this is dimensioned at 35 and 130 from the edge of the part, the distance between them is 95, and that's 95 basic. There's no tolerance on that. The tolerance is on the holes themselves, and they can't deviate more than 0.1 relative to each other. Relative to your origin, they can move around 0.3. That's the upper segment. But the lower segment says, hey, with respect to each other, and since I repeated A, the perpendicularity have to be within 0.1. If you think that the placement of basic dimensions determines somehow what your origins of measurement are, or what the relationship between features is, what are you going to do if you start seeing reduced dimension drawings, which a lot of companies are going to? There are no basic dimensions. You have to query, and I can query anything I want. On the premium site video of this tip, I'll show you how these queries can be made. There are too many other things to worry about. Isn't it great? We no longer need to worry about how dimensions are placed on the drawing. If you are still struggling with old school dimensioning and tolerancing, give us a call. We can help. Because at Techies, you know the GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.